Microsoft just made an absolutely huge announcement. They have essentially created an integrated chat GPT open AI software merger with their Microsoft 365 suite. And the, the crazy thing is here is that it is going to be called Microsoft Copilot, which is actually probably the best named thing I've heard so far regarding all of these apps. And it's so interesting to me that it's going to be able to integrate with the various tools that you're going to have in Microsoft 365. As you can see through this, it's very well managed in a couple of different ways. Like you're able to adjust text within the platforms that you have, create slides and presentations, doing it in Microsoft 365. This is going to be that next level of productivity in the workplace that people were looking for, doing it in Excel, doing it in Word, all these different things. I mean, this is a very well edited video and it makes me feel excited. But at the same time, it's also making me consider like, do I completely shift my business to using the Microsoft 365 platform? Does everyone completely shift their business to using the Microsoft 365 platform? I mean, we're talking having transcription in here. This is absolutely insane. So what I'm gonna do really quick is break down a couple different ways that this is going to improve the productivity at businesses for you. First and foremost, we're gonna have agendas, transcripts, and overall meeting efficiency improvements. So a lot of notes are taken and used with third-party applications. So using OpenAI, what they're going to be able to do is probably take Whisper's API as well as ChatGPT's API and connect the two together to figure out who were the different people that talked in it and then have backend prompts that then create action items from the transcript. And moving forward, you're not gonna have to have any third-party applications to do this. When you're doing this in the current work ecosystem, you have to get something third-party. And with Microsoft trying to take a hold of the market here, what they're doing is they're taking all of those different third-party options. They're making them worse. And on top of that, they're integrating the better option into the workflow of the people using Microsoft 365 tools. Now, if the pricing doesn't change on a lot of these different things, the value proposition is gonna go up significantly for Microsoft because you're gonna have that, you're gonna be able to create charts, create graphs, and do Excel work with ChatGPT's integration in here. And then even more so with PowerPoints and presentations, you're going to be able to ask ChatGPT, because as we've seen on OpenAI's website, it is the most advanced version. And it actually is going to have not only better outputs, but it's going to understand images. As you can see in examples like this, you can ask it what's unusual about this image. And the unusual thing about this image is the man is ironing clothes on an ironing board attached to the roof of a moving taxi. So with the vision side of it, if you give it inputs of saying like, this is the presentation, I need these images put in there. We got OpenAI, Dale, and Whisper working together to create great transcriptions, presentations. And I don't even wanna get into the fact that how nice it'll be to have it in Microsoft Word because as much as Google Docs is great, I mean, it doesn't have a chat GPT integration right inside of it. Having that extra layer of friction is going to be rough on Google if they don't move forward with it. And what they need to understand is unless Google's Bard AI is integrated into their productivity suite, there's going to be a different thought process when it comes to which decision do I make as an entrepreneur on my new business. Do I go with Microsoft 365, which is more secure, has integrated open AI technology, and is overall a better value, or do I use Google because it's more aesthetic? Like that is just a weird decision people are gonna have to make. And as Microsoft continues to roll out this product, with Microsoft Copilot, we are going to see substantial changes in the workplace unless Google combats this correctly. There was no exact date given, but Microsoft did say that this Copilot is going to be launched within the next few months for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, Viva, Power Platform, and more. This is ridiculous. What are your thoughts? Please leave it in the comment section down below and let me know what your thoughts on this video and improve your productivity even more.